Yeah, second episode today with my friend um, Shaka. By now you all know that he's a regular on Facebook. Now, Shaka, you were just explaining to me about a story in the nation here in Simington, what happened politically some 13 years ago, I think. i like, without any more ado, to tell us what you just told me. Yeah, greetings again, SVT. Because this why you know is a mind thing and we have to understand what is going on in our mind. Now, 2,000 years ago, the man tried this out named Yassas. Everybody call him Jesus Christ today. And everybody would lament about the story of Judas betraying him and how the nation sell him out for Pilate, saying that they rather the robber than the just man. 2,000 years after that, a story came out. Now, here we find 2,000 years after, the nation go to this man, to a just man, and say, we want 30 pieces of silver. Because remember, it was 30% they asked for. Is that a coincidence? Anyway, we want 30 pieces of silver. The just man say, if I give you 30 pieces of silver, it would crash the economy and cause everybody else to suffer. And then the other man come and say, no, that just man is a liar. I will give you the 30 pieces of silver. And so, for the bribe, you gravitate to, to him. Oh, and then, each one last one wrong your salary. Freeze your salary from 21 up to this time. A salary we used to used to have the power to negotiate. Now it has been legislated, and you really can't say nothing. Now, you, the civil service, no one address you, because you are the ones who sold the rest of your children and children and children to this man for 30 pieces of silver. And here you are now. You crying. You crying because you find now that this 30 pieces of silver, like Judas went and hung himself hang you today. This 30 pieces of silver hang you today because you have no authority on, on the control of your, uh, of, your, of, of your salary and how you work. What will you be telling your grandchildren tomorrow that you was a part of this sellout? Now understand what's going on. Now, here is a man who, who said to you that he will not take the nation's money to bribe the nation to vote for him. Now look at this man. Let me stop a while. Think about this man. This man back is up against the wall. And for a few dollars more, he could buy some votes and, and win the election. But this man refused rather to lose than to bribe the people. And here the people gravitate to a man who's willing to bribe them. Another man come along the scene and he's willing to bribe you. And you gravitate to him. People, our people, we have to learn to take our responsibilities for the wrongs we commit. Civil servants, you are the one who sold us and sold yourself. You are the ones today, because in 2000 and 2001 he was kicking up and threatening to close down the government. Where are you today? Where are you today in the liberation struggle, the one that you caused, when you sell out the nation for 30 pieces of silver? When today your salary is in the pond? When today your salary no longer can take you home? When today you are in real trouble? When today your back is up against the wall because of your action? When today, when yesterday you were blinded by, 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 by gold dust dangling in front of your face. Today here the harsh reality coming. You're losing your properties, you're losing your job. You cause it. Stand up and face the reality and stop blaming Mr. Eustace and asking Mr. Eustace what, you, what, what does he want to do. What do you want Mr. Eustace to do when you take the power away from him? Right? You give the power to your enemy. You take the power from a man who come from the bowels of your ancestors to li for your liberation in this time. Yeah, he come from the bowels of your ancestors for your liberation in this time. But just because he now commit bribe and fancy talk, you discard him. And today, today now you're paying. Just like how after you done sell out Christ 2,000 years ago, you run to him now and say, hey, hey, Jesus, please forgive me for what me do to you. Yeah. Now today, you ask him, Mr. Eustace, what you do? How are you going to ask the man what you do? The man don't tell you what you do already. He tell you that he's not going to bribe you to vote for him. He tell you he's not going to give you what the nation can afford to suffer the rest of the people. He don't tell you that already. And you make your choice. Well, today, we have one more choice to make, you know. Because choices are choices. And we must understand. Change beget change. If you want change, first, we have to start by changing ourselves. We have to first start by changing the way we think and stop take bribe. Because we don't see what bribe leads us to. Bribe will only make your children suffer tomorrow. And you don't see that already. We not have to elaborate with that for you. So 
When I say to the, the whole nation, this are the time to rise up and take the country back from the, who we give it to. Back from whether we want to call him a 2,000 years ago, um, Burabas or Pontius Pilate or Judas, whoever, take our country back for the sake of our children tomorrow. The ball is in our court today. And the longer we linger is the cry, we more cry, we will cry. Until we rise up and do what we are supposed to do. And that is put on the political boot and boot the alien there out of office. Because really he's an alien to us because he's not one of us. Let me check him out cleanly. He, he, his intention from the one was never to develop us. His intention from the one was to make us beggars. And that is what he has brought out. Because these, these are people who know that bribery is the wrong way to go. But yet they encourage you to bribe you. Because after they give you the little trinket up front, they don't know they don't have nothing to come with you after. So they don't, you don't sell for a price. Because the truth is more bribery than we have for us than this. If I give you some, Brian, if I give you a, a thing for the phone day, I mean, I don't have the phone already. You can't go expect to take my money and come back for the phone again. Of course not. That's the reality about bribing them. You sell your ex. So when you don't sell your ex, you still want the man to help you? He, How man go he help don't you? owe you anything. No, he doesn't. Of course. Shaka, I don't, I don't normally interrupt you when, you, when you're you speaking. But you brought out something there that I don't even think the opposition or the conscious people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines ever spoke about. And I'm just kidding. I can't believe that this is happening here. Um, you spoke about negotiating terms and, and um, negotiating salaries and increase of salaries. We used to have that in the past, and that is a fact. But now you, you just told me there, and it's a, I remember that in Parliament, they legislate. I really want you to repeat that part, what you said there just now. And the bad thing about legislating your salary, even that what they come up with, they can't pay you. Yeah, so I, it's a dangerous situation. You have no say. You could have said and say, well, my, my labor what this, and my labor what that. Now let me hear what you want to give me. Let me see if we could be satisfied. No, you do not have that opportunity. The man said, take it or leave it. Yeah, because he had said, at sort, I can't remember the percentage. The t teachers and civil servants were asking for things for 7%. I think something like that. And he, he was asking for he, 10, and he tell them 7 greater than 10. All right, but then he went into parliament and, and make it a legislation that, that you're talking about, where, where they were only getting three or four. They were, yeah. they, anyhow, they did not negotiate. They didn't have the power to negotiate because he went. They went ahead and legislated in the parliament. That that is really, really dictatorship behavior. So the question is, which one you prefer? You prefer to negotiate your own salary or you prefer it to be legislated? Brothers and sisters, the choice is ours. Is we are to determine with this country going from here, you know? How many years? Mister Eustace and them man, they not too long for live again, you know? Is we have to determine you, says, and them go over the hill soon. And when them do go over the hill, is we have to determine how the country go. So let us look in ourselves and be confident in ourselves and know that we must depend on we for our liberation. I mean, how come you go depend on massa for liberate you? It's not in a massa interest because massa interest is to keep you the slave. Yeah. So le let us rise up. Let us rise up and take our country in our own hands, brothers and sisters. Let us be our determiner of our determination. Let us be the destiny of our destination. Let us rise for in the interest of our people. Because those who are there before us, if they didn't do anything, ask yourself, where would we have been today? And ask yourself, why should we trample underfoot the works of our ancestors? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shaka. Bless up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Love and strength.